I think we have a video queued, and we'll begin with comments from someone who wanted very desperately to be here today, but the best he could do was to send a video because of Sunday commitments he has in Nashville, Tennessee. Josh Graves, are we ready with the video? Coach, what a great day, a day that you deserve. As a minister and aspiring writer, you know, there are lots of low moments, tough days, and I reflect back on all that you gave us as players with your wisdom and your encouragement. So when I'm down, I think back to the great moments of being with Garth Pleasant. I think about the time that you had a V-neck t-shirt and boxer shorts on when you walked out in the middle of practice. I think about the time you forgot your pants when we were playing a nationally ranked team in Florida and had to coach with sweats on. Or what about the time at Central Michigan when your pants split and you had to coach from the first chair? The only time you ever coached sitting down my entire career. Those are the moments that I draw inspiration from, Coach. I, I really cling to those memories. I also think about the times when you would say, Graves, stay out of the corner. Or, Graves, pass first, shoot second. Graves, who taught you how to pass anyway? Or, get the ball to Benny. No, get the ball to Robinson. Coach, those are the moments that really, really sustain me when I'm down. So I just want to thank you for being a great inspiration, and I hope you enjoy this day. Mike Roller, would you make your way to the front? We have Mike here live from Nashville. Mike is a 1973 graduate of Michigan Christian College who played on Garth's first team. He's now at another Christian school, David Lipscomb High School, where he is admissions director. I hope your stories are as good as Josh's were. Mike, welcome. <laughs> I shouldn't have followed that video. I can see that right now. Uh, I really don't have any great Garth stories. I, I, when I was thinking about if, if I had an opportunity to say something about Garth, I hope this doesn't sound selfish or self-centered, but, but when I think about Garth, I think about somebody who makes me uh, feel special. And he really hurt my feelings one time because I thought I really was special to him until I started coming up for clinics. Coach uh, was gracious enough to bring me up for some clinics that he was doing up here. And I came up and uh, I would sit in Garth's office. And I would sit in the office and, and he just gets phone calls all of the time. And I would hear him talking to people, former players, people, people who live in the community. And it became clear to me after a while that he cared about them just as much as he cared about me. And at first that hurt my feelings a little bit, but then I realized that that's, that's, that's probably why most of you are here today. And it's why we all love Garth and, and it's why he's, as, jo as Josh said, he's very deserving of the honors that's being paid and the tribute that's been paid to him today. He's my friend and my life is better because I know Garth. <laughs> 